Memorial Day honor years in the making. These white headstones now adorned with red, white, and blue. From Bay News 9, the latest breaking news, county by county coverage. This is your midday news weather now. This Memorial Day weekend is the unofficial start to summer. And while we all enjoy some fun in the sun with our friends and family, we also need to make sure we take time out to remember why this is a holiday weekend. And one of the places you can honor the sacrifice of our servicemen and women is the Sarasota National Cemetery. Bay News 9's Randy Nissenbaum is on scene there with a look at a tribute today. You can see how truly beautiful the Sarasota National Cemetery looks as around 400 veterans and community members placed thousands of American flags at the grave sites of our fallen veterans. Thank you for your service and your sacrifice. The stars and stripes represent our freedom as they're placed at the grave sites of our nation's heroes for the first time at this cemetery. Very busy. Welcome home. The cemetery has been open for six years. While they have large flags around the facility, this is the first time individual flags are being placed at each grave site. Oh, yeah. Vietnam veteran Alan Merklin is placing flags today, a reminder of why he fought for our country. This is the land of the free. And if we have to fight for it, so be it. I took an oath back in 1965, uh, and uh, that oath has no expiration date. Many of Alan's friends that he fought alongside in in Vietnam are buried here. Hey, Bobby, welcome home. He was emotional as he placed flags in their memory, but he says he visits them often, and this is just another way to keep their memory alive. I know every time I come out here, it's a moving experience. And uh, those days, I'll just come out here and sit down and talk to these guys. I have a drink with them, I have a cigarette with them, whatever. I mean, I'll take my jacket off and put it around the, their headstone, and we'll sit down there and talk for hours. Flags for Fallen Vets is part of a national program. It was brought to the Sarasota National Cemetery by a local woman whose husband is buried here. She helped raise over $15,000 to buy 10,000 flags, one to place at every grave. On scene in Sarasota, Randy Nissenbaum, Bay News 9.